Brady is headed to his eighth straight AFC Championship game Sunday against the Chiefs. And by now, we all know he's 41 years old. But yesterday, Andy Reid said that he hasn't seen any decline in Brady's production. He added, quote, he sees things better than when he was younger. The age thing hasn't hit him. So, Shannon, do you think Andy Reid actually believes this? No, I think it's coach speak. Um, what's he supposed to say? Um, if you listen to Coach Belichick talks, every Tapati he talks about is will be in the Hall of Fame. Um, Coach Belichick hasn't said anything bad about an opposing player, and this is what coaches normally do. Um, they don't want to add fuel to someone's fire, and, and guys get motivated, especially when coaches or players talk about them in a negative light. It fuels their fire. They go out there, and not that they need that, but it's just something about someone that coaches the game, playing the game, or that has played the game, fuels and motivates a player like you wouldn't believe. Um, and if you just look at the last two weeks, he played two of his best games. He mm -hmm. played uh, against the Chargers. Might have been his best game. In the last game of the regular season against uh, the Jets, he played unbelievable. But when we critique, analyze, or judge an all-time great, that's what Tom Brady is. He's an all-time great. He's a pantheon, a transcendent figure. You measure him against a younger Tom Brady. You don't measure him against today's quarterbacks. You don't measure him against the other great quarterbacks that's currently playing. That's not how you measure him. That's not how we measure other great players. We measure them against them younger selves. Tom Brady was 18th in completion percentage, 13th in yards per attempt, 10th in touchdowns, 9th in QBR. Is that Tom Brady-esque? Yes. Did he fall off a cliff? No, he's not Blake Bortles. <laughs> he could probably be 48 and be better than Blake Bortles. But if you compare him to what we're used to seeing, this isn't Tom Brady. Tom Brady is normally top three in quarterback uh, uh, as far as touchdown passes. He's top five in QBR. He's normally top five or six in completion percentage. So this is not the... Is he good? Yes. Still a great quarterback. But when you measure him against a younger self, we've seen it. Mm. A 35-year-old or a 30-year-old Tom Brady is not taking a sack right before the half when they don't have a timeout. That Tom Brady isn't doing that. A 30-year-old a 30, a, a 30 Tom Brady is not flinching in the pocket. He's not missing Chris Hogan when he's wide open in the end zone. That Tom Brady isn't doing that. Hmm. So, look, I commend Andy. Hey, hey great. Ooh, boy, I'm going we're going to do big things. Hmm. But secretly behind the scenes, I know what he's telling his defense. Hmm. For fact. Hmm. So answer me this. What did Andy Reid see up close and personal at Foxborough one Sunday night this football season, week six of this season? What did he see in the fourth quarter up close and personal? He could reach out and touch it right before his yeah. very eyes. Mm -hmm. He watched 41-year-old Tom Brady throw for 182 yards in the fourth quarter and outgun his kid and win the fourth quarter 18-16. to 16 after his kid had brought them all the way back to a 33-30 to 30 lead mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter. That's pretty special. And I just don't think Andy Reid needed to lie at this point. He didn't need so to. So Coach Belichick tells the truth. All coaches tell the truth. We're talking about Andy Reid, so, so, who's cut, cut from very different cloth. So Andy Reid has never lied. I don't know if he has or not. I haven't really thought about it, but, but he's exactly. a... He's more of a gentle soul than, he a coach? than Bill Belichick. Is he a coach? Yeah. But okay. The, all he was doing was stating the obvious truth that you can't see because you're blinded by your Brady hate. But you I'm just, just trying. But, but, you keep seeing mirages of decline and regression and aging because you, you've dug in that he's about to fall off the cliff. Let me ask you this. And, and he's not. But why, so why didn't you make that point? He, he threw for this many yards against Tennessee. Well, well, again, they all lose games. Oh, you know? but, but, okay, but, but see, let, okay, let's talk they about They all let's, win games. Let's put it in this perspective. Let's keep it in the perspective of what happened this year. I thought he had an MVP season because of degree of difficulty. It was the greatest he's ever faced in his 19 years with Bill Belichick. Because I think even you agree, Bill Belichick provided him with the worst supporting cast he's ever had as far as the worst defense he's ever been strapped with and the worst receiving core he's ever had. And they did have Josh Gordon, and I give Belichick props for going out and taking the, the flyer on Josh Gordon, and it lasted for 11 games. And we both agreed for the first four or five, he didn't really look like Josh Gordon. No. He started to get a hold of it in about the fifth or sixth game, right. and that could have really helped 
this coming Sunday mm -hmm. night at Kansas City to have that guy, but he doesn't have that guy. And the defense has often been pathetically, shockingly bad. And it's hard to overcome that when you don't have a Travis Kelsey and you, you don't have a but, Tyreek but and you yeah, don't have Sammy Watkins. You don't, have, have, Sammy, you don't we, have any of those But when guys. Tom Brady was thrown to a prime Rob Gronkowski, okay. you didn't say that about any other quarterbacks that they, what they didn't have. You only make that excuse for Tom Brady. Well, we're, just Why? Talking, we're just talking about this year, this guy, what he did this year. All I know is you keep harping on he made one mistake. He was trying to do too much at the end of the half. But what happened in the game? Because if we look at the, the full circle of the game at Miami, remember, that was December 9th. It's, it's the turning point moment of the AFC bracket of the playoffs because Tom Brady had his best game statistically of the season. And he throws for 358 yards and three touchdowns, has a QBR of 88. And trust me, factored into the QBR scale, 0 to 100, is the fact that he screwed up at the end and they just ran out of time because he was trying to do too much. But still, he overcame that. And in 82-degree weather in Miami, where he'd lost four of his last five games, he put them in position to be up 33 to 28 with seven seconds right. left, and the Dolphins are 69 yards away from their goal line. Okay. And that's 69 yards away from having the AFC championship game this Sunday night in Foxborough versus Kansas City in sub-zero degree weather, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It could be in Foxborough, but it's in Kansas City because of what happened in the last seven seconds in 82 degree weather in Miami. That's the whole turning point of the playoffs. Tom Brady cannot be faulted for that because he put the team in position with, you could argue, his best game of the year to be the number one seed in the AFC. They had reservations for 53 at your restaurant that night. Yes. 53, yeah. except... Uh, the coach, I, I don't know what the coach is if you, doing. If you he put if, Rob Gronkowski in to defend a okay, Hail Mary okay, well, help me, 69 yards away. Okay, help me understand really? this. So why, so why is it that when opposing team quarterbacks put their team in position to win? Hold on, wait a minute. We're, we're Let, just you, talking you, about you, Tom Brady. Just, I don't just, know. Hear me, just hear me out. I just want you to hear me out. When other quarterbacks put their team in position to win and yeah. then Tom Brady comes on the field, you don't say anything about the opposing defense let their quarterback down. See, it's only the defense that let Tom Brady down. Why is that? I have no idea what you're talking you, about. I don't even know because because Tom Brady's that good. He's just too good. Okay, but he's done it at the highest level the in excuse, Super Bowl. The excuses that you okay. make because see again, it's tough. if he loses the game, if the Patriots lose the game, the defense lets him down. He doesn't have a Travis Kelsey. He doesn't have an Antonio Brown. Why okay. is it that okay. you do that when he loses? Okay, he lost some games, but he also put them in position to be the number one seed. But Skip, how do you do that? Do you, do you understand what an achievement that is for a 41-year-old quarterback? If you don't mind me asking. It's so, sensational. Holmes, it's, it truly, on degree of difficulty, it's the MVP year. It was much harder for Brady to put his team in that position than for Patrick Mahomes with all those weapons to put you his team again, in. It's all the weapons. It's, it's, well, you look, make every excuse. Does, does but, Tom Brady have any weapon right now? What, what is he doing? He has he's a, throwing uh, to 32-year-old Julian Edelman. Skip, That's it. Skip. He Chris throw, Hogan? He's throwing, really? to the, he's throwing to the same guys. That he well, wins I mean, with is that what he loses. What's the water time he had the most dominating tight end in the history of the National Football but League? But you never said that anything about gone. that. We're talking about it? this year. Oh, see, We're talking here. about decline. We're talking about aging. We're talking about father time tapping Look. you on the shoulder. And all I saw against the Chargers Sunday in Foxborough, I saw him be better than ever. So, well, uh, wait a second. I'm just doing eye test. <laughs> Did his velocity look as, as hot as we've ever seen it? What about his accuracy? What about his feel for the game? What about his reading? What about his anticipation? What he has three? never been better than he was against the Chargers. That was your Super Bowl uh, uh, pick. Yeah, it was. You so, loved him. So let me you picked you, him to win the game. So let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question. So he threw for what, 300? He was 30, 34 of 44. 343. For 343. Yeah. QBR of 87. Uh, QBR of 100. 87. Yeah. And he's throwing up to a, a broken down Rob Gronkowski. It's he's just throwing, hold, Let me finish. Let me finish, Skip. Just, well, you're, you're, I, I love it. Keep going. He's throwing to a 32-year-old uh, uh, Julian Edelman who he says like, he's throwing to a Chris Hogan that you told me uh, a couple of weeks ago. He had gone five games and only had three targets. Now he's Throwing Philip Dorsett. Philip Dorsett. Considered a bust. Considered a bust. Thank now, you. He had one of his best games, but when he lost to Tennessee 
Mm -hmm. when he lost to Detroit, mm -hmm. all you did was make excuses and says, who is he throwing to, Shannon? Why don't you make those same excuses for other quarterbacks okay. is my point. There were games on the road where he just couldn't overcome how bad his defense oh, was. Well, well, you realize... If his defense... You, you realize Mariota torched the defense. You, you realize at Detroit, Matthew Stafford torched the defense. You realize at Jacksonville... What about Tom Blake Brady? Bortles threw for 376. What about Tom Brady okay. scoring 10 points? Okay, they're all going to have bad games and lose some games. You see? Okay, but but who is in position to have the one seed? How great is that? How great is Hold that? Hold on. Did Mah didn't, Mahomes, didn't Mahomes put them uh, in front? So well, Mahomes, so okay. the Kansas City was in position. Okay, how about these games? Head-to-head -head against, let's take Aaron Rodgers. Who won that game? Tom Brady outdueled Aaron Rodgers head-to-head. Name head the team that's in the playoff about, that he beat. How about Patrick Mahomes head-to-head? -head, he outdueled him. The 41-year-old outdueled. How about, let's do Jenny's guy, Kirk Cousins. What happened in that game? Tom Brady got he the lost best of Kirk Cousins. He lost how about five. Deshaun Watson? How yes. about that game? Yes. Wait a second. How about this game? This just got swept under the carpet. Tom Brady took the Patriots to Chicago against the number one scoring defense and hung 38 on them at home. That was their only home loss. Right. And by far the most points the Chicago Bears right. gave up all year, right. 38 to Tom Brady. That's sensational. Get, and he was throwing and he was throwing to who? Whoa. So, okay, he hung 37 on yeah, the he throws, He's throwing to who is right. Hold on, wait Thank a minute. You. Wait, that's my point. He hung 38 on the number one huh. scoring defense, but he got 10 against Detroit. Why? He got 10 against Tennessee. Why? He got 10 against these other Jackson. Okay. Why? Okay, do you want me to start in on Aaron Rodgers? No, no, game this is not Aaron year? Rodgers. Okay. Aaron Rodgers is not in the playoff. We're talking okay, about Tom but, but, Brady. Wait a second. Aaron Rodgers is much younger, and you say he's transcended the greatest throw of the football ever. His I, team we're, went 6 9 just, and 1 this year. Yeah, okay. They all lose yeah, some games. No, right? no. Yes, no. yes. They do lose games, but I'm talking about the excuses you make. When Tom Brady loses, I, he's got nothing. If we compare his supporting cast to all the other teams, why does he have nothing when he loses? He's got nothing because of Bill Belichick. Thank you. <laughs> See, not, not okay. Now he so has nothing. He, he actually had an MVP year this year. No, but he you did won't not. Give him credit. And Andy Reid is speaking the obvious truth that what does your eye test tell you? You came in and sat here on Monday morning and you said, that was virtuoso. It was! Okay, so how do you do that if you've regressed, if you've declined, skip. if age has eaten away if at, you don't at your skip, accuracy skip, and your velocity? Skip. Let me ask you a question. And be honest. Be 1,000% honest. Mm -hmm. Take the top 25 quarterbacks in the NFL. If you do not pressure them and mm -hmm. you do not reroute their receivers, how many guys of the top 25 quarterbacks currently playing could do what Tom Brady did on Sunday? Against the Chargers? Against the Chargers. Oh, maybe three? Seriously. Maybe three? You in a playoff game? Skip. The skip. Chargers came in hot. They were 8-1 and one no, on no, the no, road. 8-1. No, 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 no. and, and the one road game was a home away from home game. It was in the Coliseum skip. here in L.A. So you tell That's it, sensational. So you're telling me of the top 25 quarterbacks, if you Against do not... Do you if, know how much talent is on the Chargers defense? Skip, they didn't hit Tom Brady but once. Okay, yeah, but... Again, he gets rid of the football quickly and accurately, and he reads faster than anybody playing the game right now. He speed reads, and that's Andy Reid's point is, not only is he 41, but he's got 41 okay. years of experience okay. Why that, he, that others okay, don't okay, have. Okay, he speed reads. Did you ever see him quicker with the ball than he was Sunday? Okay, why? So You can't get to him because the ball is out. Okay, so, so why did he lose to Tennessee again? Well, he speed reads. They, they all lose. You know, they all lose games. Oh, so, so you see what happens when they put Tom Brady on his butt okay. or they reroute his Who should have been the number one seed? Help me out. What do you think? Kansas City. Oh, stop it. Kansas City. Okay. Whose fault was it that the, the Miami miracle happened to the New England Patriots? Whose fault? Skip, that's one game. No, what about the other game? 15? It was the game. No, it was not. It was the game. Well, They're you, in position. If, if the, the deal gets closed, we're having a different conversation Well, if you close right the deal now. against Detroit, you, if you, you close just, the deal against Tennessee, you, you if you would close the deal against Detroit. You would be hands right now saying, they can't, but Kansas City can't beat them in yeah, Foxborough. But, but the thing is, Skip, is that you take one game, and, but it's always, it's, it's Coach December Belichick's defense. It's December the 9th. It's the Belichick's defense. It's coming hard. So, so, the game, so, the game, so, so, so the games in uh, September, October, November, they don't matter. Well. This one really matters. Skip this one game. All the way Skip back. this one game. Yeah. So 